Welcome back to Nate Sucks at Gaming. I am Nate, and I do suck at gaming, and today, because a few of you have asked, I'm just gonna show you what computer I'm using and all the specs and the hardware that we've got going on under the hood. There's a few different ways to do PC gaming. You can buy a pre-made computer. They make some specifically for gaming. There are some brands that do that. Or you can build your own. I'm using a computer that has been assembled from individual parts, not all bought together. So we're gonna take a look at what all of those different parts are. All right, you wanna see this? Here it is. Bam, that's my gaming computer. It's uh, small and we're overclocking it a little bit, but it's pretty powerful. I'm just messing with you. This is with a Raspberry Pi. I'm sure it couldn't handle a lot of these games, but that's fine. Here is the inside of the computer. It's a little bit on the dusty side. That's okay, it still works. This computer was originally built in 2012 with an upgrade in 2016, but since then it's pretty much stayed the same, which is why we've got a little bit of dust. It hasn't needed a whole lot of maintenance since then. It's still working well, so... Hmm. Mm. Gross. We're running on a Gigabyte brand motherboard, full ATX, mid-tier. It's not the highest quality stuff that's out there, but it's easily powerful enough to run the hardware we've got attached to it. Now behind this slightly oversized cooling unit, we have an Intel i7 chip. It's a quad-core processor, Skylake. Again, it's not the fanciest, newest, or top-of-the-line processor, but it's plenty for what we're doing with it. Down here at the bottom, we have an 850 watt power supply. That's more than we need in case we wanted to upgrade to having multiple graphics cards. Just off to the side of this heatsink, we've got two G-Skill RAM sticks. Each one is 16 gigabytes, giving us 32 gigabytes of RAM. There's slots for two more, but this heatsink is actually large enough. The fan is in the way of where one of the sticks would go. So we're limited to just the two because we can't put in four. Now, why is the heatsink so large that it's getting in the way of the RAM? Well, it's bigger than it needs to be in case we wanted to do anything that involved overclocking or running really processor-intense games. At this point, there's no water cooling in this PC. It's all just air and venting and stuff like that. But I don't know, maybe sometime in the future if uh, everyone watching subscribes and likes and all that other stuff on this video, we'll be able to get an upgraded water-cooled PC. Wouldn't that be nifty? Moving on to the graphics card, we've got an Asus Strix graphics card with full RGB capabilities. This one is running the NVIDIA GTX 1070. When it was installed, it was nearly the best out there. Now, it works still. This bad boy's got a couple of hard drives in it. We've got a one terabyte normal hard drive and a 256 solid state drive, which for cord reasons is just kind of hanging in there. Not really attached to much. Up here at the top, we've got a couple of CD drives, that's right, two of them, because back in 2012, that was actually useful to have. All of this is housed in a Corsair mid-tower case. Something nifty about this case, there is a fan speed control built into the top of the case. Now this monitor may look like a regular 24-inch Dell, but it's actually built for gaming. It does run at 144 Hz with G-Sync. The mouse is a Razer Death Adder model, and it's got some uh, nifty buttons on the side, and so far I'm not good enough at any games to use those successfully. I think they just messed me up. Maybe I'll get there. The keyboard is a Logitech Mechanical Gaming keyboard. It does light up, but it's not RGB, just the one color, and Mechanical Keys obviously is better for faster response time in some games. The wrist support is, uh, it's kind of got like this gel feeling to it. Put your wrist on it and you're like, ooh, my wrist feels supported. It's very important. In most of the videos, I'm also wearing these headphones. They are Sony WH-1000X M3s. Noise canceling headphones, they work pretty well. They're, you know, they're comfortable if I'm not wearing them for too long. These headphones do have a headphone jack, which lets us plug directly into the computer in case you, know, you don't have Bluetooth on yours. And in case we're not using the headphones, we've got a couple of Bose computer speakers sitting here on the desk. There you go, that's the rig I've been using. If you've got any specific questions about it, let us know down in the comments and we'll fill you in. Oh, also, this, uh, this is the gaming chair. It's a chair made for office use. Quite comfortable. I think it was 20 bucks at a thrift shop. It's a good deal right there. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.